So every once in a while, there is a tool that comes along that just revolutionizes the way that you do stuff. And this is one of those things. As you may know, I make a lot of YouTube videos, a lot. And a lot of my videos are just somebody talking and then there's a little pause in between sentences, you know, and you have to cut out the in-between parts and that's 90% of the editing that we do. Wouldn't it be great if there were a tool that just cut out all of the blank spaces and then just imported that into Resolve so that you could edit it further? Well, now there is. Check this out. Here I have a app called ReCut and it's insanely simple, okay? I'm gonna take a recording that I made just a few minutes ago. I'm gonna grab this and just drop it into the timeline here and it's gonna go through and it's gonna find all of the blank spaces where I wasn't talking, where I was pausing and it's gonna highlight those. You can go up here and adjust what it thinks is silence and how long of a silence to leave and how much space to leave around the parts that it doesn't think is silence and how it can remove little short little things. For instance, this is on auto right now, which in my experience works really well. But let's say I want to consider things that are louder to be a little bit more silent. I can zoom this in with the plus key and I can just kind of adjust this threshold, something like that. And now if I'm quieter than this threshold, it's going to remove all that silence. And so you can kind of zoom in and see what it's about to do. And the great news is that even if this doesn't do a good job, if something's messed up, you can go back and edit this later in Resolve because this is a non-destructive way to do this. Now we have all of our silence selected. I'll go up here to export and we just select DaVinci Resolve FCP XML and hit export. It'll ask me where to put this XML. I'll put it somewhere really pro without silence call it that and hit save. And now in Resolve, I'll just import that piece of media, change it and set up my project settings and everything. And then I can right click in the media pool here and under timelines, we'll say import, AAF, EDL, XML, and so on. And I'll navigate to where I put my XML without silence like that and hit enter. And it'll ask me some fancy things. I'll ignore all of that and just hit okay. And now we have our recording here with all of the silence cut out and it laid out in the timeline and a massive amount of the editing is done for us. I've used tools that are kind of similar to this, but this is the easiest version of this that I've found. And I've used it for quite a few videos lately and oh man, it's so good. If you're doing screencast videos or you're doing vlogs or anything that where you just need to cut out a bunch of silence, if you're doing podcasts, man, what a great tool. So now here I have everything with that empty space cut. And if it's cut too much, I can always kind of roll this back and forth and nothing's gone because this is just using the original file and making edits to it, just like we would here in the timeline. Very, very slick way to do it. So yeah, if you wanna check this out, you can go to getrecut.com. And I'll also put a link in the description for you to get $10 off. And I also get a little, I get a little, uh, little affiliate link there. So it helps me out, helps these guys out helps you out, it's good for everybody. That's it, that's my tip, short, simple. If you make videos that you need to cut a lot of silence out of, I cannot recommend this highly enough. It also works for Premiere and uh, Final Cut Pro if you know you, for some reason, don't use DaVinci Resolve. I can't figure that out. You, you have to talk to a therapist about that. Oh, that's some shade, I'll just throw that right out there, won't I?